Hi everybody, it's Maria. I'm back with another Sound Prism Pro video. The last one was kind of funny because, I don't know, I, I guess I used the uh, vertical, what do you call it, the portrait mode of the iPhone and it didn't come out correctly. Now I'm using the landscape mode and hopefully this will be better. This is Sound Prism Pro. They just came out with a big update yesterday. I believe it's 1.5 and there's all such a goodies and one of the goodies is that now it can talk to other apps. Is that you can use different MIDI channels and choose different see touch points. We did that. We had that last time, but now it seems to work better because you can actually see your sources and destinations. There's Genome, so now you have a little sneak peek of what I've used and Sample Wiz. I also use Nlog, and for some reason it keeps losing contact with Nlog. I don't know if it'll do it now but I was doing it before. So right now I have on the bass Snarling Pig sample from SampleWiz. Really cool sound. So I assign that to the bass touch point which is here. On the left side is your bass notes are your bass notes and the right side are your chord notes, chord tones. And so my first finger I'm using the internal sound of a sound pack I bought called uh, Choir Sound Pack. This is called Airy. It's very pretty. The only thing is it's not loud enough, so I don't know if that's something in the future uh, could be a little louder. I mean, I'm only using it through the iPad speakers, but when you combine it with the other sounds, the other sounds are much louder. I actually lowered the sample was internal sound before, but it still might be just a bit loud. Now my second finger I assigned to N-Log. However, that would be MIDI channel 3, because the internal right now is set to MIDI channel 2, sample is, is MIDI channel 1. So MIDI channel 3 is my touch point on my second finger. I don't know if it'll do it because it lost contact before. There's internal sound Prism Pro, and of course I'm correct, because this has been happening. Now I have to go back, so I said maybe this is good because developers can see. See how the screen just came up? That means it's loading. So I had it up before I turned on the video, and now I have to reduce the volume again. So every time it loses contact, the volume goes back to the preset. So now I have to bring it substantially down because it's much louder than the Sound Prism Pro preset. That might still be too loud, but let's check it out. Hold is off. It's a tone called Vangelis. It's, pro, it's a, a user sound I put in. I bought a user pack from Matthias, a really nice guy who came out with a, um, a App Sounds, I think it's called, is his company. And he made some beautiful sounds for Nlog as well as some other synths, including um, another one that I own and I can't, Nano Studio. Okay, anyway, Sound Prism Pro, we're back. Airy, first finger. There it is, not so low, that's good. And I'm not sure if you could hear it, but I hear the glitches, which means I think I'm maxing out what you can do on a sound pad, on a, uh, on this iPad. And I think that's just the iPad hardware capabilities. I don't Let's see if I can use my thumb. Now to add Further to it, I just, for the heck of it, tried Genome. And I sequenced a little bit of uh, just a couple of things, and I believe it's using the Sound Prism Pro uh, Choir Pack, but what's cool is because I chose, I guess, um, you know, a um, lower octave, it sounds like male choir rather than on Sound Prism where it sounds like a female choir. So if I hit on, to turn it on, you can hear it, this cool kind of ba ba. Let's just sequence down here, you can see it going. And it'll just keep repeating. So I theoretically can go back to Sound Prism. Of course, I only have one hand to do this, and I'm just fooling around anyway. But you can you can play everything together. So it's just a little video to show you the really cool capabilities of Sound Prism Pro with this update and uh, using it with different synths like Genome, Nlog, and SampleWiz. So there's so many possibilities, it's crazy. Of course, I'm afraid that the uh, iPad might spontaneously combust 
if I put too many together. But I'm having fun trying. Take care and enjoy, everybody. Bye.